Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and a little video update from me. Apple actually revamped and launched their new mobile me interface late last night. So this morning when I logged into mobile me on my Mac, I've now got access to a brand new interface and it looks very nice indeed. Now at the moment you can see that we're connected to the cloud and this little button here allows me to switch apps. This is one of the biggest changes and it's done very nicely indeed. If I click this icon, an overlay appears where I can select from Mail, Contacts, Calendar, Gallery, iDisk and find my iPhone. So I'm already in the Mail service so let's click away and here I've got my inbox, drafts, sent trash and junk exactly as it appears on the Mail app on my Mac. Here I've got a scrollable list of current emails and if I click through on these I can actually view the relevant email. Now the options up the top here, very simple indeed, I have a trash can so I can delete the current email that I'm viewing. This one here allows me to archive the email. This one here allows me to move the currently selected email into a folder so I could perhaps organise them into some of the folders I've got down here. This one here allows me to reply and to compose a new email. Here I've got some settings and also access to some account information. Now if I compose a new email it loads up in a new window on the top of the uh, current interface and here I've got my to field, my cc field, subject and from and all the controls I would expect on a normal email application. I've even got some little icons here to save the message as a draft and also to include attachments. So very, very easy to use email application. Now let's switch to contacts. So this is how the contacts are presented. I've got a scrollable list on the left hand side here and currently got the Adobe UK store contact showing. I've also got icons up the top here where I can either add a new contact, edit the selected contact or in fact delete the contact. Now let's click that icon again, move across to calendar. The calendar view very nice indeed. I've got my two calendars here. I've also got my month view down here and also a full view here of the current month. I can switch to day view, week view or month view and I can also cycle through the calendar using these two arrows. So let's click on this icon again and dive into gallery. And these are my mobile me galleries. These are photos and videos I've uploaded to my mobile me disk space. And here I can even slowly scroll across the galleries to see what's in a particular folder. And if I want to view one, I double click on it. And this opens this up larger. And then I can double click on a selected photo to zoom in. I've also got some options down here to go back to the album or to scroll left and right or view it actual size and some additional icons up the top here where I can actually upload a new photo I can make setting adjustments and also delete the currently viewed photo and this one here allows me to rotate the photo so let's pop back out to the main cloud interface and into iDisk and on this interface this allows me to access the various folders I've set up on my iDisk space to make some of them public if I so wish and also to share files and also access to my iWeb websites and my home page. Let's click that icon again and the last icon along is to find my iPhone. This is fantastic if you've got an iPhone or an iPad. It allows you to log into the system and actually locate where your iPhone or iPad is. Now this is great if you've happened to be subject to maybe having something stolen or you've misplaced it, you can simply log into this interface and when it locks on to the location of your device it will display it on the map. So as you can see a really nice overhaul of the mobile me interface. I hope this video was useful to some of you. Thank you very much for watching. Please come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel.